morning guys so today i have a video um that's kind of going to be all over the place uh win update that's what i want to do first I have a few empties i have a few things from sephora i'm going to show you the stuff i showed you this last weekend that i bought and i've got some swatches i'm going to do and tell you about a perfume that's hard to find now so saying all that i hope i don't screw it up okay first i am still using the win uh, I think I'm in, I want to say week three. That's all I've used to wash my hair. I've used my purple conditioner afterwards and then a regular conditioner. And once or twice a week, either sleeping with a deep conditioner in or doing the coconut oil from Trader Joe's. That's the only coconut oil I'll, I'll use. Um, so that's kind of a hair update and I'm loving the color. I did, you guys know, I did a few of the blonde streaks, which some kind of, sometimes can leave it yellow. So I used the Garnier 111 Light Ash Blonde, I believe is what it is. I know it's 111, and I love it. It toned, you know, at first when you first do it, you'll see gray patches, and then it just kind of tones to this ash. Cannot stand my hair yellow. Uh, I hope this isn't too long of a video. Um, So that's my win update. And to be honest, I've gone through about a half a bottle of wind. I wash my hair twice. I don't wash it but every two or three days just because my hair is dry and it doesn't get dirty. But you have to use probably six pumps and I wash it twice. So 12 pumps every time I wash it. So I've probably used it six or seven times now. So I'm glad I got the double pack because that is what I wanted to do. I was going to make myself I knew that it would take at least that long to see if it really was helping my hair. Um, I read some reviews on that, just side note. Um, after a while, it made people's hair fall out, like three months later. Um, well, it hasn't been three months. But I want to say that I think once in a while, like maybe once before, maybe before I bleach my hair again, I'm going to use a good scalp cleansing shampoo. And the one that I usually use for that is the Follicure. I've done videos on that before. You get from Sally's. And it's supposed to clean out your hair follicles. That, that really, really good. Because I think that one of the reasons some of the women may be experiencing fallout is because maybe a cleansing conditioner doesn't clean out your hair follicles good enough. I don't know. Like, and they die. They start dying out. So... But, um, but the follicure is very drying, so I'm going to use that not after, um, maybe after a really good coconut oil treatment and um, not, definitely not after I just bleach my hair because it's too drying for that. So, it's, and that's not something you want to use that often. I learned that the hard way. It does, it's very drying to your hair. It made my, my friends, my friends swore that it made her hair grow faster and that's why I started using it but it's very drying and she told me it was very drying but she also may have oily hair I have very dry hair so her hair doesn't look oily but that doesn't mean she doesn't have oily hair so um anyway if you do get the follicure go lightly with that so um I thought I, I had another empty and now I don't remember what it was I emptied out another one of my Garnier BB I've already repurchased it and I emptied out the Neutrogena triple moisture deep mask um, actually mixed there wasn't a lot left maybe like a tablespoon so I mixed this with my Garnier mask and um, when I did my mask in the shower so anyway this is empty I haven't repurchased it because I've just got so many masks and and to be honest with you more favorites but this is a good one so let's see Sephora I did not do the VIB rouge I slept on it <laughs> I just I just didn't need a whole lot of stuff and you know I feel like if there's some if there's things I'm wanting like this in my basket definitely with the VIB rouge but I just didn't the 20% I just didn't and um I thought I'm gonna show you this one this is a buxom lip gloss Actually, all three things are from Buxom. And then I have the Buxom. I must really like Buxom. And then I have the Buxom 500 Point Perk also. This, I think I showed you this, though. I've had this for about two weeks and have not used it yet. So I might put it on. This is the Buxom Sinful Cinnamon. And I'm going to compare it. That is so pretty. With the one that I have on today. Now, I have on MAC Plum. Let me swatch that. And this is the lipstick that I just bought. 
and I have it on. And I bought it because it's so racy reveal. Okay, so this is the third of their um, Ulta mattes I have. I also have the Ulta Violet. Love that. It is still my favorite. This one is the one I have on today. And it's kind of, all right, let me just swatch it. It's kind of, okay, the, the camera's making it look really pink. And it is pink, but it's a peachy pink. So, and you can tell by looking at my lips. You, I don't know, maybe you can't tell by looking at my lips. But I don't usually have on a light peach lip, so. It does look more pink on camera, but I swear, in the store and in there at my vanity, it looked really peach. What, baby? Are you just whining? Are you just whining for no reason at all? Don't mind. It's very whining. Okay, um, and here's my MAC Plum. This is the liner that I have on with it. So that's what's on my lips. All right. Since the sinful cinnamon. Is it sinful cinnamon? Because I have not been saying these right. Yeah, it is sinful cinnamon. I called something sinful the other day that was not. Oh, it was that eyeshadow palette. All right, here's the sinful cinnamon, and I'm going to swatch it beside of it, the other one, so you can see that it is darker. I'm trying to leave that middle light. I love these. But now, I went through all the colors when I was in Sephora, and I think, like, I was even unsure of the one I wore this morning, this one. Because I was like, it's really light. No. But I thought, you know, I don't have many colors like that. So it's kind of a um, branching out for me. So that just darkened it up a little bit, but I still like it. Um, and then I'm, I have looked at this lip gloss for five years. And I finally bought it. Even though I'm into mattes right now, I don't know. I just wanted it. And it's the Buxom Lip Gloss. I can't get it open. Let me make sure I did get the right one because I haven't even used it. And it's the White Russian. It's just a very, very, very pale pink. I thought, well, not years ago, when I first started looking at this, I thought it was like a, had a white cast to it, but it's, I guess it's the lighting that you look at it in. It's a, it's a pale pink. I mean, you can see that's pink. And then the Lavender Cosmo is the other one I really, really, really like. So I showed you that. I did my swatches. Here is the four-piece 500-point perk. Gosh. Oh, I didn't know that this was not black. I'll be waiting. Buxom eyeliner. I have it. Okay, to me it looks like a steely blue-gray. It's definitely gray, though. Pretty. Different. I'll have to use that on my waterline one day, and uh, you guys tell me what you think of it. And um, this will be going in a gift box. Show off black. <sighs> Sorry, you guys, I've had one heck of a morning with my um, big and bushy Vanity Lash Mascara. I'm not going to open it. Because um, that's going to be going stock and stuff or a gift box or something. And anything that I don't think I'm going to keep, I'm not going to stick my fingers in it. Um, this right here, these two things right here, this is Sophia, I'm pretty sure. Let me look with my bait. I can't really see these. Yeah, I have a 100-point a perk of Sophia. Then I bought Sophia. And then I didn't know it was Sophia, but... These two were sitting there, and I was like, oh my goodness, like I saw a light. But this, I'm very interested in, because you, I don't think this would turn pink on me. Um, looks like Cure Royale. I don't know. I'm going to swatch it. I'll swatch Sophia, too. I said I was going to swatch it if I can get it open. I always tell myself, open this before you start your video. Oh, Lord. You know what? Yo, I can try this. I'm doing a, I'm going to do a really good swatch. I mean, I don't think it'll look bad on me, but... Okay, th this is one of those colors that... 
you see how pink that looks already? When I put, look at, and look how dark that looks. I thought it was darker than that. Shoot. I'll still wear it. I will wear that. But this on my lips is going to be fuchsia. It, it, it will not be this color. They just don't stay that way. But I'll swatch Sophia. Sophia, where is my white Russian? I'm going to swatch it. Okay, so here, sorry, here is Sophia, and here below it's White Russian. So you can see White Russian does not have that much color, and Sophia has a lot of pink to it. So Sophia, White Russian, that looks kind of clear at this point. Um, did not bring my washcloth. I had it in my hand. You think I could remember. Okay, I showed you guys this in my how, at my house this weekend, whatever you want to call that haul, whatever. Uh, the next blush in the 06 Wanderlust. And it is so pretty. It doesn't show up on me. Like, I even gathered, you know how you like gather your brush head together and dig it in? I even did that and I still had to go over it with my uh, Milani Rose Duro. That, so the Rose Duro is basically what you see on my face. Um... And then I used a little bit. I'll, I'll show you what's on my eyes. But um, I love this. And maybe it made my Rose Duro look better. M maybe it would be a good base. You know, and then just pop the Rose Duro on top of it. I don't I don't know. But you, it doesn't show up on me. You, On a real pale person, you would be able to see that. And then I got a 100 point perk of the Clean Cashmere. And it's the newest clean. Um, it's, a, it's a roller ball. My favorite, okay, I have two favorite cleans. One is the, I think it's Fresh Laundry or Laundry. And it smells exactly like a bounce sheet or a downy sheet. And my second favorite is Skin. And anyone that likes Egyptian musk, that's not weird, just a light Egyptian musk, that's good. That Those are my two favorite. Now I have warm cotton, clean cotton. I don't even know what all I have. I don't know. That, it smells good. I'm not going to buy it, but it does smell good. It does smell like you would think cashmere would smell, but I don't know how to describe that at all. Like I really, really don't. So this is kind of, um, not staying with everything, but I had um, at home a lipstick that sometimes I'll just kind of swipe on as chapstick. And um, it was just kind of laying on a thing in my bedroom and I swiped it on and I looked in the mirror and I put quite a bit on and I looked in the mirror and I was like, that's white. And then I thought, you know, that would be really pretty over some colors and it's something that I don't ever use. And I thought, I don't know what that is, but when I get home, and if I show it in a video, I'll tell everybody what it is. Did not know I had this. I mean, I did not know that's what this was. Um, I have seen some reviews before when I looked up some of the Tom Ford lipsticks that Tom Ford did at Estee Lauder or Estee Lauder did a Tom Ford or they're sold by the same company. And this morning, because you can't, you cannot see these without a magnifying glass. Like, you just can't. Because I had to look, like, I, I blinked my eyes and looked again. It says, Tom Ford Estee Lauder, the lip, SPF 15. So, you have to overlook any lipstick color. There it is right there. And I'm going to swatch it so you can see what I'm talking about. It's right here. See how it kind of puts that white on your lips? But that would be very pretty, like, center lip with a purple lipstick or something. But, but there it is has no smell. Oh, did I, did I finish my story? I had an allergy attack on my eye this morning. I don't know what it was. I honestly think that it was my eyelash glue. I don't think I have let it dry enough and it got too close to my eye or something. And my eye, I don't know if you can tell, it's still watering. But what's on my eyes, um, my Vegas nail lashes, the glamour, my Oh, the Naked Basics 2, next to the last color. What is it? Primal. Um, with a crease color. And then right here, you see that purple? It's kind of inner. It is um, the Pure Eye Polish Base Top Coat. And 
I'm going to show you the box and tell you the velvet. Okay, so here's the box. And these are really neat. It's just a gel formula. And you kind of poke it, and it stays wet on top, and the gel is down in here. But um, the longevity of this is great. I did an under eye with it this past weekend. I just went under, like where I smoked it out a little bit today with my bust, Urban Decay Busted. I put this, and it stays on, and it's very pretty. It's real metallic. Um, but with this stuff, and I've said this before, you always want to make sure the lid's on tight. It comes with a brush that I have not used, which is probably a great, yeah, this is a good brush for it because you know what? That's rubbery. That's just a rubber tip. That's that's a good idea. And so I'm going to keep that with it because that's definitely, definitely a, the brush that you need to use with that. I've just been using it with kind of like a flat. Um, gosh, I'm getting lost. I, I'm getting shorter. Let me fix it. Let me fix this. Got on my hair and bone today. I need to pull it down some. It gets up around me choking me and I can't stand it. And I got my Christie necklace on and just my regular hoops. Um, today I did not use any foundation per se. Well, okay. I didn't use any liquid foundation. I used my moisturizer, my BB cream, and my Laura Mercier Pure Honey, the dark one, but I mixed it with my Bare Minerals Golden Tan. That's what's on my face. What did I contour with? Oh, my NARS um, Laguna, I think. I'll put it down below. I think I didn't bring it in here. It's my NARS Laguna, and then I told you about my blush. Highlighter, I used two things. My Pure Afterglow, and do you guys remember the skin, L'Oreal, I think it's L'Oreal Skin Lights in the, I need to, I should have brought that in here. I used that over it because it rolled out from under my seat in my car. <laughs> <laughs> this past weekend, I was like, oh my God, I love that stuff. But it's the Skin Lights in kind of a peachy looking container. It, it, it's Revlon. It's Revlon. I'll bring it in here and show it to you sometime this week. Um, I knew this was going to be a long video. Oh my God. Okay. Here's the hard candy. I just thought it was two compacts, little compacts. I didn't know that it was a figure eight. Um, that's cute. I don't remember how much this was either. Okay, so I'm going to swatch, do a good swatch of both of these. I'm going to do a better swatch and I'll swatch them across my arm so you can see them. But that is a brush. It's a little mirror and this is just, just a little bit, you could use that. You could totally use it, you know, if you didn't want to carry a separate brush. So here's the two colors. And there they are on my arm. You can tell this is the, the darker one at the bottom. But isn't that cool? Love that. But I did think there were two separate little compacts in there together. So I get stuck in hard candy. I have three hard candy products. I had showed you that one, but I think I had forgotten this one. And I, I know that hard candy has to do this, but this little don't steal me thing that they put on and then they put the, the clear plastic wrap over it. I left it on there on purpose to show you guys. They're so hard to get off. Like, I don't, they use Gorilla Glue or something with those things. But this is, um, I have a blue one of these you guys might have seen in another video. The iDef Hard Candy Metallic Eyeshadow. And this is in the color Ilic. And it is so, this is my color. There's some flowers back there. <laughs> y'all see those flowers? And y'all, <laughs> the same color. Um, here. Um, I had a washcloth in my hand to bring in here um it is so pretty like i want but if it's not too weird of a formula some form, some formulas are too weird to put on your lips i did put this on my lips but it is weird it stayed but it's weird it's and it stays like a um one of the long wearing but it tastes funny so um i don't know if this tastes funny or not i haven't tasted it <laughs> okay and one more thing from hard candy i think it's all um, chalk and pink 1046. And here's the uh, what is it, boo boo? He's just staring at me. He don't usually do that. Y'all, isn't that pretty? <gasps> oh, let's find an empty spot, I think, right up under that. Yeah, this reminds me of that chunky lips, the really pretty one that I put on my center lips. Um, that's what 
I love colors like that. I need to stay out of the stores. Um, oh, okay, so th I gotta do this really quick, y'all. I don't want this to be too long. Does anybody remember Lancome OE? <laughs> it's so funny when you read reviews on things. This was one of my favorite perfumes ever back in the day. Um, I think it is a little bit reformulated, just a little bit, not that much. It still pretty much smells like the original. A lot of people won't even notice. Um, of course, the bottle's different. Um, reviews on this, um, I had a point that I was going to tell you about it. Reviews on, oh, I know, one review said, Lancome We has been reformulated and now they call it OE. They always called it OE. It's always been OE. O with the apostrophe We. And, um, I don't know why they said it was We and now it's OE. It's always been OE. But, um, anyway, you, this is being made. You just can't buy it at our Lancome counters in the USA. So, you're going to have to go on, um, another website to find it. But I just wanted to let you guys know if anybody was, you know, because I even mentioned not long ago to old Lancome lady, they come out with all the other azure and all that that don't smell good to me. Um, well, to me, everybody's different, but I even mentioned, you know, I said, I can't believe they haven't come out with a wee. I mean, that was the best smelling thing you guys ever had. And she was like, I know, I know. Well, I think they know that you can still get it. But anyway, so search for this if you're an a wee fan, because that's still out there. Okay, so my little um, Walmart thing, I'm going to show you my little my little Walmart 488 little makeup kit. Okay, these are the two. These are the two I'm going to keep. But I want to see. I have not stuck my finger. I know that I'm keeping these, so I'm sticking my fingers in them. I want to see what the deal is here. Yeah, they're pretty pigmented. Or they're pigmented enough. I, I won't say that. I won't say that they're Urban Decay, but, and then here's this one, and, and they're purples, and that doesn't, it's a little bit darker than what the camera's showing. Here, gosh, keep on, I'm going to be doing my feet. Okay, so this one, oh, here, I just didn't, it's weird because it's, look how it shows up on my finger, but it won't, that won't transfer. Okay, so these are not good eyeshadows. <laughs> I mean, they're not. I'm going to try them. I'm going to give them a whirl. But there's two that I knew that I would not use. So I'm not going to swatch them. I wanted to swatch those because I'll keep them. But this one's kind of a nude-ish. And this one's kind of a lavender-ish. Right. And, you know, cheap packaging. But who knows? I have found some of the best colors. Like, I do like the pinks. I can't believe this don't show up any better than that. I have found some of the best colors best colors in which brings me to this this is why I bought it um in little packages like this and you know and then you, and you just love them okay so it's right here it's just a shiny frosty little bit tinted lip gloss um I'm debating on this one so I'm not going to swatch it but it's just going to be it's just going to be a darker pink you can see the color but I really wanted the lighter pink one. Um, the blush I'm going to keep. I have not swatched it yet. So I'm going to swatch it now. Wow. That's a pretty color too. Alright, let's go here. Whoa. <laughs> That's like the color pop. So see, if you like that color, I mean, you know, if you didn't like anything but just this and this, the kit was $4.88. So, and I am keeping those. I am not keeping this lip liner. And it may be the best lip liner in the world. But... Oh, and I'm not swatching it because, gosh, I don't, I may change my mind. If I change my mind, I'll wear it in a video. I just feel like, I feel like I have so many pinks that are that color and it just won't get used by me. So I'd rather maybe give it to somebody that might use it. And the two, okay, there's a, there's a, um, mascara I won't use. Um, not because it's bad, just because I, I don't use mascara that much, so I don't really. There's two nail polishes. Um, they may not be worth a crap, like the Forever 21 ones. Don't waste your money. Um, this one I'm keeping. This one I'm not, because that's just not a cup. I like it. 
it's just not a color I usually go to. So there's no point in keeping it. And they put this in there and it, oh, it made my skin crawl. Nails on a chalkboard. And then they put this in there and I'm throwing both of them away. Um, okay. The only other thing, if there's anything on my face, I did my Urban Decay perversion under my eye. My NYX Vinyl Black. This is my Lancome Brunette. Um, I told you guys about my blush. I think that's it. You, you saw me, you saw what was on my lips. The only other thing I want to do, ugh, I hate. Alright, I'm just wiping my hand off with something. Um, the only other thing I want to do, because I did have somebody ask me about this. The Kapow and the Stones. So I'm about to swatch four things for you guys. Really quickly, and then I'll wrap this one up. I think I covered, I covered a lot of territory. That's the one thing about my videos. I... They get on my nerves sometimes. I think my voice gets on my nerves. Has anybody, have you ever heard your own voice and it's like, really, do I talk like that? I hate my voice. So that's what gets on my nerves. And then some of my mannerisms get on my nerves. But, um, oh, one more thing. And then I'll do the swatches. Scentbird. I joined Scentbird. Um, I have asked them for a discount code. I don't know that I'll get one. So... If I do, I'll share it. Um, but this was my first month, and I'm so tickled. Um, but um, it comes in this. You can order different colors if you want to. Once a month for $14.95, they ship you. It's like a quarter of an ounce. You can do your research. like a quarter, Or I'll put the link below. Um, quarter of an ounce. They got all kinds of perfume. This is the Comtour Sub Pacifique, and I'm sure I just tore that up because I'm not French. Um, I call it CSP. <laughs> And this is the Vanille Cocoa. Oh my gosh. Somewhere I have this. Somewhere I have this. I have the Cocoa. I have the Extreme Vanille. My favorite is the Vanille, Ap Vanille Apricot. Abricot is what they call it with a B. But this is the Vanille Cocoa. So for $14.95 a month, you know, you line up your key or whatever and, you know, and they'll send you what's next. In other words, now I have pictures of like eight perfumes and this one is like blank because they've sent it to me. So what it is, and you guys have seen this probably 10,000 times, and you just spray it. And then, I don't want to mess this thing up, but somehow um, this pops. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm glad the label's on it. I was wondering about that last night because I thought, if I don't use this up before they send me another one and then I have to use my canister, will I know? You know, because this is supposed to be a month supply, but you guys know I use different perfumes, so I'll have this for probably six months. But... I love it. My next one is a Tom Ford one so um, that I've never, well, I may have smelled it at the Tom Ford counter, but I don't remember what it smells like. So I will have to do a full review on that one. This, oh my God, it's vanilla cocoa. And that, you know, I'm stuck on the chocolate scents here lately for some reason. I think because I miss summer and chocolate reminds me of summer. Okay, okay. Oh my God, this video is so long. All right, I'm going to do these swatches really quick. This is Matte Stone Lipstick. Love it. But I do kind of have to put a pink with that so I don't look like I died. This is Matte Stone Liner. Little bit darker, ashier. The um, liners are always a little bit more something because they're matte. I remember the heroin was a different color. Um, I love this. Like, I am in love with this. This dose of colors stone. And this will change in a minute. I want to make, um, let me look at this. Make sure I get a good swatch on there. Uh, you know, all the matte lip, liquid lipsticks change after a few minutes. Um, there it is, wet. And it's definitely pinker. This is such a beautiful color. Like to me, an outline with the Max Stone lipstick and the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the center would be pretty. That will probably still deepen up a little bit. And then ColourPop Kapow, because I had someone ask me um, what I thought they would swatch like with the Max Stone. And since I had the Max Stone liner and the lipstick, I wanted to show you. So this is ColourPop Kapow. Okay, it's at the top and the bottom because I wanted you to be able to compare it to um, Dose of Colors stone and up here with the other stones. So all three of those tops are stones. Color pop, 
the MAC pen lipstick, and then the MAC pencil, the third one. Dose of Color Stone, and then Color Pop Kapow. But you can tell, even as, especially that Kapow drying down just darkens. See how dark it's getting. This was the one I put on, and I was like, whoa, but I love it. You just have to add a little paint. Those, those colors can do a serious number on you. So there they are. I was I was letting you watch them dry down. So that's it. I'm going to wrap this up, and I uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Please subscribe if you have not. Um, comment questions down below if I missed anything, because I know I get started on stuff and don't finish my story. I interrupt myself. So um, if I did that, and I won't realize it till I watch the video back, let me know. And um, yeah, thumbs up this video if you like it. Okay, I will talk to you later. Have a great week. Bye.